Welcome to our coding corner. Today, we're tackling a common question that many Python developers encounter. Our viewer is looking to remove email addresses from a string using rejects. Let's dive into the specifics of the problem and find a solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To remove emails from a string in Python, we can use regular expressions, also known as regex. Let's start by importing the re-module. Next, we need to define our input string that contains the emails. Here's the string we will work with. Now, let's create a regex pattern to match email addresses. A simple pattern could be something like this, as tus plus, which captures the typical email formats. With our pattern ready, we can now use the sub method to replace any found emails with an empty string. This will effectively remove them from our input string. Finally, let's print the result to see the output. The expected output should be ABC123 foobar. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. This user prefers a simple string parsing method to remove emails from a string. They start by splitting the string into items. Next, they filter out any items containing the at symbol using a list comprehension. Finally, they join the remaining items back into a single string, resulting in a clean output without emails. While this isn't a regex solution, it effectively removes emails from the input string. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To remove emails from a string in Python, you can use the re subfunction. This user provides a regex pattern that matches email formats. After removing the emails, the output is cleaned up by joining the remaining text without extra spaces. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To remove emails from a string in Python, you can use a simple list comprehension. The idea is to split the input string into words and then join those that do not contain an at symbol. And that's it. I hope you found the solution that you're looking for. If you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.